Hey guys, what's up? My name is Kirish of Abdullah, exploring world cuisines. Today, I'm going to be making another delicious Korean dish called beef bulgogi, which means Korean beef barbecue. So let's get started. Today, I'm going to be making it in a pan, but I'm going to show you two ways how to make it. The first way is using this beef. So this is the authentic cut that I prefer. It's a ribeye steak that I got from the uh, Korean grocery store in my Korean vlog video. And this is 100% halal. And it's cut into these small pieces. But if not, you can also make it at home using this ribeye steak. So this is a normal ribeye steak that I got from the grocery store. And I'm going to show you how to cut it for bulgogi. So first of all, you want to freeze this in the freezer for a few hours so it can get hard and you can cut it easily. Bismillah. So this is just one way to cut the beef, but like I said, I'm going to be using the authentic version today. Alright, so for the marination, firstly I'm going to add 3 tablespoons of soy sauce, half teaspoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of sesame oil, 2 tablespoons of garlic, which I've coarsely chopped. I haven't chopped them too fine because I want them to be a little bit pieces. 1 teaspoon of black pepper. One tablespoon of roasted sesame seeds. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Lastly, I'm going to add Asian pear. So Asian pear is a natural meat tenderizer. Like how in Pakistan and India, you use papaya for meat tenderizer. In Korean people, they use Asian pear. Now, if you don't have Asian pear, you can also use kiwi, like a uh, half or one kiwi. Bismillah. Now, if you're using kiwi, you don't have to grate it in. You can just chop it into small pieces. And make sure not to use any other pear like the Chinese pear. Instead, use the Asian pear because they all have different tastes and textures. All right, now that everything is in, let's start mixing. I'm just going to give it a really good mix. All right, now for best results, you have to cover it with cling film and refrigerate it for at least overnight or for 12 hours so that the pear can really tenderize the meat and it can be delicious. All right, now that our beef is marinating in the fridge, let's start making our samjang sauce. So samjang is basically a sauce made with a lot of different pastes and ingredients and Korean people love eating with their beef bulgogi. So let's get started. So the first ingredient that I'm going to put in my samjang is donjang, which is the main ingredient of this sauce. So donjang is a fermented bean paste made from soybean, so like a fermented soybean paste. And it is very important for this sauce because it's uh, salty and it has a really nice flavor. So I'm going to put three tablespoons of it. Bismillah. Alright, so the next ingredient I'm going to add is not surprising because I've used it in every single of my, one of my Korean dishes, which is gojujang. So I'm going to add about one tablespoon of it. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of sesame oil. One teaspoon of chopped garlic. One teaspoon of roasted sesame seeds. One tablespoon of brown sugar. Two tablespoons of green onion or spring onion. And one chopped green chili. And I'm going to mix it all together. So it's more like a paste rather than a sauce, but it's still going to be delicious. All right, so our sauce is ready and our beef is ready too. So let me take it out. And our beef has been marinating, so it's going to taste really, really good now. So my beef has just come out of the fridge and before cooking, I'm just going to do one more thing. I'm going to add some white onions. I've chopped them into slices, um, like this big slices, so you can actually feel them while eating. And also a quarter cup of spring onion. And make sure not to chop the spring onion too small because you want to feel it. And now I'm going to mix it all together. Bismillah. Alright, now that it's ready, let's start cooking. Okay, first of all, I'm going to add two tablespoons of oil in my pan. Alright, so now that my oil is heated up, I'm going to add my beef. Bismillah. And I'm going to cook it only for around one to two minutes because it's very delicate and I, and I don't want to overcook it. 
All right, now that our beef is done, let's turn it off and take it out. All right, now I'm going to plate it and I'm going to do it the authentic way and show you how to eat it at the end. All right, so now that our bulgogi is ready, I'm going to show you the traditional way to eat it. So the traditional way Korean people eat it is called sam, where you take a perilla leaf or a sesame leaf or even a lettuce leaf and you take off the stem. And first you put some boiled jasmine or sushi rice. You put it in the center and you want to put the leaf in, your, in between your palms so you can ball it up later. Just put a little bit of rice. And then you want to put your beef bulgogi and make sure to get the beef and the onions both. And you want to add a little bit of samjang because it is very strong. Alright, now that you have everything, you just want to roll it up, kind of like a pan and just eat it. Bismillah. Wow, this is so good. You got so many flavors from the bulgogi and the rice and the samjang and so many textures and it is amazing. You have to give this a try. I hope you guys like my recipe. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.